Abdul Razak. Abdul Artan, seeing here spinning on stage during his graduation ceremony at Columbus State Community College this past May. This is the teen his neighbors say they knew, often smiling and always willing to lend a hand. Actually, would it help my daughter with, with getting diaper bags and kids out of her car when she would come over and visit. Luann Carnahan says Artan would talk to her about his first year at Ohio State and about prayer time. But on Sunday, at least two neighbors say Artan appeared down as he sat outside of his apartment. He was just sitting here. We walked by and he said, are you okay? He said, yeah, he's fine. My daughter seen him uh, when she left on Sunday night and she said that uh, normally you know, he's all, you know, happy and, and she felt that he was a little off than normal. And when he looked up at her, he just, you know, sort of hung his head back down. Less than 24 hours later, Artan plowed through students and staff at Ohio State and attacked others with a butcher knife. Authorities say Artan fled from Somalia in 2007 and spent seven years in Pakistan before coming to the United States. Law enforcement officials say prior to the attack at OSU, Artan wrote on Facebook about U.S. interference in Muslim lands and warned, if you want us Muslims to stop carrying lone wolf attacks, then make peace. Every single Muslim who disapproves of my actions is a sleeper cell waiting for a signal. I am warning you, O oh America. That doesn't portray the person that I have seen every day since I've moved here. And, you know, just a short time ago, we spoke to another group of young men, teenagers, uh, who also go to Ohio State from Somalia. Uh, and they again reiterated with a lot of the neighbors said here that the Artan they knew was just an all around good, friendly, always smiling kid. Reporting live tonight in Columbus, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.